Over again. Are you from Medford Island? I've never even heard of Medford Island. I can't remember where I saw it. I don't know if it was by Morro Bay on the way there. Huh. And who's from Chicago? I heard that earlier. Are you a mafioso? From the mafia? So it brings you way out here. <coughs> Did you relocate out here? Or are you following somebody? There's a lot of dust orbs. And there's no, there's no air really flowing. Hayward. Hayward. Huh? You're from Hayward? Look at there. Not sure. I it was there. So, why are you here if you're from Hayward? Are you looking for gold? What time period are you from? Is that one of the bears? Huh? Not the bears, and there's nothing like that. Maybe I'll try uh, turning off that light now. I'm done. The lights are bothering you. Uh, I got the flash going. That was the only thing. I hope you don't mind the flash being on. Uh, every time. Every time? Every, uh, every. Any of you spirits from the Ride Hotel or Lock Chinatown? I'm kind of wondering if you're following us. Yeah, that's a ton of dust. I go in front of the lasers to see all the dust that's going on. Can you see it in the light? I see that. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a bug too. No, there, yeah, there's a bug attacking the phone right now. Is that a moth? Yeah, so it's really hard with the orbs of German. Oh, yeah, I can spirit. see the dust. When you turn it that way, I can see the fucking dust. Mm -hmm. That's how I can say my name. Okay. I heard it. Do you know who this guy is over here next to me? What's his name? He's been staying here quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know if that was my shirt just relaxing. It felt like something touched me on the side. Did you touch me? I think that was a touch. I don't think that was my shirt relaxing. Who touched me at Imperial? Who pushed me? I one scum. One scum? One scum, one scholar? Hmm. Yeah, somebody pushed me out of the chair. Or at least I, I felt the heavy push and then I jumped out of the chair. <laughs> but it's pretty obvious whoever it was wanted me out of the chair or out of the room. I wish I could stay there tonight, but 
about room nine at the Imperial Hotel. Any spirits from there? Can you light up the bears again if you are here? Or any of these other devices, can you light them up, touch the antennas? So we can see that you're present with us. Oh, thank you. What's it touching? I'm not sure. You're lightly touching one of them. Can you light it up some more, please? I don't know if you can get closer to it or really squeeze the bear or something. Push the bear over. Yeah, knock one of the bears over, that would be cool. Is it almost 12? I think we could still go up that way though, right? Even if it's past 12? Yeah, it's almost 12 right now. Mm. Are there people still on the bar upstairs? I don't hear the music. Well, I heard it turn off probably about 10 minutes ago. Oh, really? I didn't hear anything moving stuff. Maybe we should let them know we're down here. <laughs> I'm kind of oh, worried. God, yeah. I'm kind of worried about getting locked. <laughs> you know, we, the stairway would be able to get out. We're locked on the inside. We're locked in the inside? Yeah. So we'd be able to get out? Yeah. Did she say Ryan's here? I don't know if that was a she, I don't even know if that was. Who's this other guy here? Do you know his name? He's in room six. Satan's room. That could have been a fluke, I don't know. I don't know if six is normally haunted or what, I don't know. But yeah, all the really dark sounding stuff, that was mostly from there. See, I don't know why, I swear, I thought it was in your room. There, there was in my room, too, but... As, well, I'm talking about, like, specifically, like, the Believe the Satan. Yeah, the Believe in the Satan, the Pope stuff, that was there in 6. Okay. Damn. Well, I've been good. I gave him a fucking show last night. Did you? Hell yeah. <laughs> what did you do last night? My wife. Ex-wife. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Everywhere. Were you, were you spirits watching her last night? Are you watching Get It On? Was George there? Did you like that, George? Do you spirits watch people having sex in their rooms? I bet you do. Perverts. George's old room last night to sleep in. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you don't have the little ones? Oh, no, we, no, no, I got the little ones. Oh, you didn't have them last night? No, we had them last night, just they were sleeping because it's two beds in room six. Oh. Uh, so we had them in one bed, and the extras in the other bed, and we uh, already had plans for that night. Oh, uh, okay. So we went ahead and got our oldest, Jasmine, she met, yeah, her own room, and George's room, and I let her watch the video afterwards of Ghost Adventures. And, oh, really? Uh, yeah. And we watched it because I hadn't seen that one forever. And now I realized. Which, which one? Oh, is it here? Yeah, the one that was here. God, that was dumb. Yeah, it wasn't very good. No. It was a whole lot of fucking him claiming a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'm not not Tammy. I can't stand her. That's oh, like, yeah, Tammy. That's all bullshit. Yeah, who the fuck's Tammy? You know uh, her? Yeah, I know her. I don't like her. And they're all friends with the other tour groups I don't like. She oh. was doing tours for a while, and then she didn't show up, and. Supposedly she has some crippling disease now. I have no idea. Oh yeah, and that was on the show. She was like, 
And then I came in here, and I had to leave because I almost had a heart attack. Yeah, they were like, demons. Well, a little overweight, and, uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> shit. I mean, if you look at her Facebook page, they're all, like, Dr. Glam Glamour pics. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. It looks nothing like her. That's fucking funny. And she's married, but she makes it like she's single. Uh, oh, yeah, that's yeah. who you were talking I was trying yeah. to remember because you were talking about it. I was like, who the fuck? Yeah, I Tammy thinking... Giramathi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's yeah. on that episode. Looks nothing like her. What the? F I swear, I thought it was, I thought it was the the, the, uh, the wife and husband. That the dude. Oh, yeah. was I think the husband died and. No. Like what? Well, they're all ghost bitches all the time, it's, and it is older people. I can't remember her name though. Hmm. And they're demonologists. It's a wife and husband. Oh no, that. Um, oh yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. See, I thought that's who you were talking about. No. Uh -uh. Okay, now that's. Okay. No. I just think that's the constant scenes. Constant, yep. Constantinus. Exactly. Yep. There are episodes of, not episodes, but there's um, YouTube videos of her at Locke. Oh, no shit. Yeah. They're old ones, though. Ah. Uh, he wasn't there. It was just Debbie. If I remember right, didn't he, like, beat her, like, real bad and he killed himself or some shit? He killed her, I think, the roommate. I don't know if he thought they were having an affair. And then himself. Oh, yeah. shit. And some people think it's paranormal. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, 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 man. <laughs> I, I don't know. I doubt it. But it sounds like they had problems for a long time from what I've heard. But yeah. Can't always blame everything on the paranormal. <laughs> I mean, I had, there was this one secretary at a school I worked at, and I never liked her. <laughs> I always had to, like, be nice, force myself to be nice to her. And uh, I found out from, I guess, people that work, I don't remember, but they, the word got spread around that her husband killed her and her two adult kids and then himself all on New Year's Day. God, oh my. Um, I've been by the house and did get voices outside. And the weird oh. thing is, is that area where she, where that happened, there's a lot of hauntings around there in Modesto. Other demonic hauntings, um, regular hauntings, but cases I've been to over there. Uh, it seems like it's all connected. It's that whole Floyd Oakdale. And there's a school there, and the school's been there longer than the house is. But before that, I have no idea what was out there. I thought it was just farmland, as far as I know. But it could be Indian land, too. Because there are a lot of Indians around Stockton, Modesto area, the rivers there. The San Fuck, that California San was and a huge Indian. Yeah, but there was a huge population <laughs> around Stanislaus and Tuolumne Rivers. Where Stock and Modesto are. I meant to send, while we were talking about it, I meant to send you the fucking picture. <laughs> Forgetting. When you go to the old B&B that they have for sale now on Lock, if you go to the side, they have a bathtub and the alley with a bunch of bicycles on the side. I don't know if you ever notice that. There's a B and b Is this the, like, the Japantown part of Lock Grove? Or is this in Lock? Lock. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's B&B that has a for sale sign now. Huh. But yeah, if you go, there's a little alley beside it. It has a bathtub right there and it says five cents for a bath. Oh, yeah. And have you read that sign? Not uh, not fully, no. The very beginning of it talks about the fucking Indian burial grounds you're talking about. Really? Yes, it confirms it. Yeah, that's by Martha's place. That's... And it, it says that. It's, it gave uh, directions like you, uh, like you gave me. Really? Yes. She told me to keep it a secret. That's weird. It's not a fucking secret. It's right there on the sign. <laughs> it's well, right there. Maybe she put that later. Maybe to piss off the town or something. I don't know. Oh, that's funny. So there's a plaque or a sign or something? Yeah. Or something? Oh, I got it right here. You have, a, you have a picture of it? Yes. <laughs> that must be new. I've never seen that. I've seen the tub. It says like five cents or something. Yep. But yeah, she told me that some 